Can you feel it? 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 Can you feel? Can you feel it? 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 Can you feel? Can you feel? Hello, friends. Welcome to Forza the podcast that dives in to explore the nature and experience of being alive. I'm your host, Tracy Brinock, performance artist, writer, researcher, mother, lover, all round deep diver into embodied experience. What does it feel like to be alive? How can I describe it and communicate it? How can we learn from each other's experiences of aliveness? In the series, I talk with a wide variety of guests, artists, activists, educators, spiritual teachers, writers, guides, shamans, to find out more about their experiences of the force, life force, energy of life, elixir of life, source, whatever we might call it. I hope it brings something new to your experience of being alive. Can you feel it? 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 Well, for those of you who have listened through the series or maybe just dipped in and out, uh, this is my final offering in this first series of Forza. I do hope it's just the beginning. And that there will be lots of more uh, conversations and diving in to explore what this means for people. And hopefully, as um, as you, you're beginning to find yourself, and certainly I am finding and reflecting, there are two ways to, to really explore life force or how to increase more life force, which ultimately leads to uh, a fuller experience of being alive with more vitality and Um, a fuller sense of our being and so we could do that by taking up practices that encourage that life force so what is it that when you do a certain thing you feel more alive and how can I do more of that in my life and then the other side and perhaps it's not either or both need to be addressed is what are the things that are blocking me Where is my resistance to actually being fully alive? Where do I stop myself from being fully alive? Knowing that really all of those things that are there internally in our minds to hold us back, to diminish ourselves, to keep us small, are always protective strategies that have been put in place from a very, very young age. So we might begin to judge ourselves because we're limiting ourselves but actually the judgment is what's going to lock us in for a long time and make it really painful so my invitation to you is just to take the judgment off right now how can you get a bit of space from the judgment so that you can actually see what this resistance is about who is the one that needs to protect you what does she need And then when her needs are met, maybe coming closer to the one underneath, the the younger one, who in whatever experience she or he had as a child, was kept small, was kept safe, and allowing that one to now grow up and to find their place within your adult body-mind. For me, I do both. Both work has been been part of my my growth. And uh, one of the ways that um, I have been able to express this is is through movement, but also through my writing. And I'd like to share a short section from the book that I'm just about to finish, which is about uh, the ways that we can heal from birth experiences, well, traumatic birth experiences specifically. And it's called Eros in May. And I'm just going to read it. 
May is about to burst open into bloom. I am bearing my skin, intoxicated by the hawthorn bloom and the bird song. I slip easily into a kind of bacchic frenzy. My skin is like the flowers, opening, shining, receiving the light of the sun. I want to root in the earth to cover my skin in warm earth. There is an ancient Welsh story of a woman made of flowers, Blodewedd, flower face. She's conjured up by a magician, Gwydion, using flowers of the broom, meadowsweet and oak. She is a gift for his nephew, Llei Llau Guffis, who has been cursed by his own mother that he will never marry. Clay takes his magic flower wife, but, as is surely her right, she does not love him. Her heart belongs to another, Granu Beber. In stolen nights together, they come to realize that the only way they can be together is to kill Clay. Orchestrating their plan over a year and a day, the scene is set for the kill. And indeed, Granu fires an arrow into Clay's body, but it does not kill him. Clay escapes as an eagle, and with still dripping skin from his wound, he finds refuge in a tree until his uncle eventually finds him and heals him. In time, Clay takes his revenge and kills Granu. Bladeweth is punished through another magical act, and this time she becomes an owl, a creature so hated by the other birds, she has to live at night to escape being attacked. Bladeweth, flower face, betrayer. If she had not betrayed her husband, she would have betrayed her own heart. What would you choose? There's a poem by Araya Mountain Dreamer called The Invitation. And she asks, I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. I'm going to read it again and just see where this lands for you. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. Have you ever betrayed your own heart, soul? To what lengths will you go to serve others before acknowledging your own needs, desires, longings? It's late May. This evening, as I walk through the hawthorn blossom, the ground is covered with buttercups. I sense a tiny space between my cells. I have a sense of spaciousness and more light all around my body. Breathing in that intoxicating scent, I let it open me up. Joy and ease pour from my heart. I am peace. So we have different qualities of life force. Sometimes when I listen to spiritual teachers, we talk about peace, love, joy. And I know all of these, we all do in some respect, but often just in fleeting moments. Or when we shut down the rest of our life and take a holiday, how different would your life be if you could access these states of being every day, that they are always available to you? Why do you resist them? Who would you have to be to experience them more of the time or all of the time. If you're interested in learning more about my work or coming to work with me, 
if something in the series has struck a chord for you or put on a light bulb for you. I'd be really, really delighted to hear from you. You can get in touch via my website, www.tracybrenock.com. That's T-R-A-C-Y-B-R-E-A-T-H-N-A-C-H. -E Thank you for listening. Can you feel it? 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 Can you feel it?